Hi, this is Rosalind from Chow Entertainment, living your best life. We are here at the Toyota Arena today. You stay tuned for some really exciting stuff going on.
musical theater star, multi-award recording artist, and songwriter, Ariana Dukeson and Friends. City of Carson. I just wanted to thank you. A lot of Carson folks out here. So I just wanted to thank uh, Chow Entertainment for putting this together, and all the all the uh, the people who gather all of us together just to have a good time. And uh, this is great. So anytime that we can be together and party like this, you know, it's great. And for the kids also. So thank you for the kids. Uh, for following in our footsteps, see, we're, we're, we were kind of cool too, you know, so <laughs> we've got that. Uh, so I wanted uh, to make a couple of announcements. June 10th, in the city of Carson, uh, the city of Carson, it, along with the Filipino community of Carson organization, is having the Philippine Independence Day Festival, June 10th, okay? And then... June, uh, July 15th, we're having uh, 
Philippine Friendship Day in the city of Cerritos. So those are the two events that are coming up and we would like to invite everybody uh, to come out, join us and uh, really just promote our Filipino American community and all the, the other uh, nationalities so we, that we could share our culture and share our love and entertainment and um, just being together. So thank you, thank you so much for allowing me to speak and you've got, you gotta keep it going because that was great. What language is that? Kurdish. Kurdish. Yes, Kurdish, Turkish. Oh, oh, oh yeah, beautiful. I love the beat and it just keeps everybody going. So you gotta keep it going. So let's get this party going, right? So thank you, thank you everyone. gentlemen we have before us Isabel Isabel now you have such a beautiful beautiful voice did, did you come out of the world and start singing um I started singing when I was about like two but when I was starting to like actually sing like better you could actually understand me was when I was like six seven around that age but but I had a sneaking suspicion when I listened to your voice that you'd been doing this for quite a while. I mean, I heard something on the radio that there was a young kid who didn't know what music was all about, but they wrote down a music and had some professional group go ahead and perform it. And I bet you could be that and doing that thing. You have such a beautiful voice. Thank you so much. I am so proud of you. Thank you. So when did you determine that you were six years old? What was the incident that inspired you that you really wanted to take this seriously? Uh, what inspired me was I wanted to make people happy and I wanted to make my family proud and Yeah, it's just singing is a wonderful hobby 
passion for me. It's a passion and hobby for me now. Wow, yeah. you sound so mature for your age. Are you are you an only child or do you have other siblings? Um, I have one sibling. She's younger than me though. So Does I'm she like older. to sing too? Yeah, she likes to sing. She likes to sing just like me, you know, singing, singing the songs I sing. Do your parents sing as well? Yes, my mom and my dad. Wow, that must make them especially proud to see their daughter <laughs> following in their footsteps. So what's one of the things you never thought you'd do that you've already done? The one thing is like actually singing at Lakers and Dodgers, you know, because those are one of my like dad's favorite two teams. You know, he has a lot, but those are his top two favorite teams. And I was like, what? I'm actually singing for Dodgers? Like this is a dream come true. Wow. And for Lakers as well. When I was like, like seven, eight years old, I drew this picture and it was like a girl holding a bouquet of flowers and it was like at Lakers and I really like to watch other people sing the national anthems and I was like, wow, I'm so proud of myself. That is that is such a beautiful story. And so what's what's next? What are you what are you envisioning in the future that you can't wait to happen? Yes, what I'm envisioning in the future is to hopefully to hopefully, you know, help out, donate to the kids who need help and I hope one day to, you know, I wanna make like a little like program for kids who want who are who are aspiring to become like singers, artists, and you know stuff like that. I really want to help them out and help my family out with you know our house bills and things. Yeah. Yeah, you have such a huge, huge, this big, is my big good dear heart. friend. This is Miss Susanna Reyes. We go way, way, way back, way back long ago when I was just a wee little tot. I was doing an internship with the. What was that? That general services department. General services department, and this lady was my boss, and she also had a connection with us in uh, my husband with the Sierra Club, who's going to show up right in time for dinner, and then he'll split. You know how those men are. <laughs> but um, it's so amazing to see you here today. She goes, "What are Thank you doing you. here?" And I said, "What are you doing here?" And she <laughs> says, "I'm receiving a, I'm receiving an outstanding community service award, and thank you so much for inviting me." Having me here, it's an honor and privilege to receive or accept that award. And it's really on behalf of all Angelinos. As I'm a public servant, I'm a commissioner for the Board of Public Works of the City of Los Angeles. It's my privilege to, to serve all of the city of LA. Wow, that's amazing. You've gone quite a few places since I last saw you. <laughs> yes, I retired in 2019 from the Department of Water and Power. And three days later, after my retirement, I got word that then Mayor Garcetti wanted to appoint me as a commissioner for the Board of Water and Power. Um, and I'm privileged to be the first retiree to be on the board of the biggest municipal utility in the nation. I was also privileged to be their vice president of an all female led board uh, two and a half years ago. And last year, I was moved to be the commissioner of the Board of Public Works and uh, the lead over the sanitation department. And the Board of Public Works is the biggest commission in the city uh, because we do all of the infrastructure projects, services uh, that pertain to your trash collection, street services, street lighting, and all of the engineering projects in the city of LA. Really huge responsibility that I take to heart. That is, I'm so proud of you. Welcome to the Oakland Aviation Museum. This is a special museum for aircraft, historic GA, general aviation, and World War II airplanes here at the Oakland Airport. As you can see, it's now open seven days a week for the summer. And I wanted to show you around. This is an indoor and outdoor museum. This is the outdoor area. Over there, we have a flying boat. There's not too many of those left. Here you can see the Douglas KA-3B Sky Warrior. Really cool. Lots of red and blue. You can read up on it. Some starter had their first flight in this plane. Now we use more Cessnas. Come 
over here. And this is just a great place to come and visit to bring your family. As you can see, the ground is like a little runway. Like the Kitty Hawk corporate. And of course, that's the Wright Brothers. That's the Wright Brothers. And this is the gift shop where you can get all of your favorite aviation goods. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon. I'm here with Eric Del Mar, an outstanding dental hygienist and a, the proud parent of a youth choir. So how long have you been dentistry and how long have you been youth choiring in the whole nine yards? Well, in fact, I'm actually the uh, office administrator for a dental office. I've been a dentist in the Philippines, from the Philippines, and I've been doing administration, not doing hygienist, it's good to correct that, but I'm doing, I mean, directing choir, youth choir for almost 20 years now. Wow. And you acquired from, this will be my fourth generation kids. Oh my God, what, what inspired you to get involved in working with those kids? It's the, uh, the scripture that tells us, Jesus says, let the children come to me. Oh. So bringing them to church, bringing them to the ministry to offer their voices, echoes in all heavens about resonating their love of the, the, the mighty being. That is that is so beautiful. We always we always get the most of our life when we're truly serving others, and I I could see by the joy and the resonation of all those voices that were cheering for you, you've really made a difference in the world. So I started a youth choir, and then here we don't have a youth choir that comes in a, a Catholic school or a private school. I have a youth choir that comes from different school, unified school district. And now, how can people follow you? They uh, we have a website which okay. which is. Uh, God Faith Choir at uh, uh, GodFaithChoir.org and on Facebook, go on Divine Faith Choir. That is beautiful. Hi, this is Rosalind Khan with Chow Entertainment. We have this lovely lady, Maria Gladys Martinez, an outstanding transformational leadership. And your word was for leadership? Yes. Uh, what happened is that I do charities for, um, you know, our for our like native uh, Mangyans in the Philippines, like indigent for the kids. Wow. And so yeah, I help. I, I do some charities a lot. What's one of the yeah. biggest events you've done? Um, when we have the event in Clippers and Dodgers <gasps> game. Is it like tomorrow? Uh, yes, I'm not part to yes tomorrow, but last year I was one of them. Oh, like fantastic! Two of us. Yeah. And so, how can people follow you? Uh, they follow me. I have a Facebook. It's called J A F D M. And that's all my, you know, my events there. And this coming March 24, we have another charity event again What's that? also. Um, it's in Ontario. It's in Upland, actually. Yeah, for, you know, our native Filipinos. Um, Mangya, it's called Mangyan. Fantastic. Hi, we have with us Miss Maria Victoria mm -hmm. Mejia. I understand she is an accessory director. Sorry. How did you get into doing these accessories? Um, actually, um, I have a store in the Philippines and then um, I really love signing. So this is one of my creations. Actually, I designed this and then um, I have a maker in the Philippines. And then this bag, we created this for my daughter. Oh my gosh, I saw someone taking pictures before and that was prob probably you with the, with the red bag, yes? yes? I admired that and I said, what a beautiful bag. How can people follow you? Um, um, I have a Facebook page, uh, Victoria's Craft Los Angeles, and uh, Instagram at Craft Victoria's. Oh, beautiful. Well, thank you so very much for all you do in the world. Right here in Los Angeles, we have an epidemic of people that don't have a home. So with this new platform, Hi, this is Rosalind with Chow Entertainment, living your best life with this lovely, gorgeous man. And you are? I am Jam Kaya, uh, pop singer, composer, and uh, uh, international pop singer. Uh, you guys uh, go YouTube, Spotify, can play my music, enjoy my music, uh, my original music. I have more than 100 song, original songs, uh, and soon uh, my English and Spanish song album finish done. Uh, I love you guys. I love your. Um, I love everything American here. <laughs> where's, where's, Thank your, you. where's your background from? 
Ah, uh, I'm from Europe. What, yeah, what's, what's, what country in Europe? Uh, my country in Kurdistan. Kurdistan, yes. wonderful. And how long have you been here? I'm already here like uh, one half year. You learned English very quickly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What, what did you do that helped you learn so quickly? Uh, before, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm singer, I'm more travel the international whole world. I have concert, uh, that's why uh, I'm uh, talking English, I speak English. Uh, Kurdish, Turkish, and a uh, little bit Spanish. What got you into singing? Uh, I'm singing uh, pop, Kurdish and Turkish, uh, soon English and Spanish song. Uh, finish my album. Fantastic! How can they follow you? And then we'll wrap it up. How can they follow you? And then we'll wrap it up. Jam my social media. Jam Kaya space. Jam E Y A space. Jam E Y A. You guys, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, music platform, YouTube, all music platform. Like my music. Like my music. Yes. And I have animal foundation. Animal foundation. Jam Kaya. Jam Foundation Kaya, for animal uh, foundation uh, because for animal, animal 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 because uh, I love animal animal red my line uh, red red line so, red uh, red soon uh, apply soon uh, for apply my foundation here uh, for my foundation together here. my music together my together jobs, my music uh, together my job uh, go uh, I'm uh, going for uh, I want to for my foundation I want to make concert for foundation I make concert for animal foundation my foundation any particular type of animal yeah. Any particular any kind, kind of all animals? Yes. Any kind or all animals? Yes. Any animals? Yes. Any animals? Any animals? Yes. Because I love animals, you know. I love animals. I love animals. I love animals. I love animals. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. My name is Rosalind Khan. The show is My name is Rosalind Khan. The show is Living Your Best Life. It's on Shaw Entertainment. It's on Shaw Entertainment. It's Tuesdays at 11 a.m. And I can't wait till we talk next. Thank you so much. And I can't wait till we talk next. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Nurse Access Staffing is seeking experienced RN and LVNs. For more information, call us at 818-697-4484 or check us out on our website, nurseaccessstaffing.com.